All right. All right. Uh, Shalom, Mike. Him. Uh, first and foremost, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone, which rule well. And I want to give a uh, peace, greetings, and salutations to all the like Akim that's pushing this word and the uh, truth and sincerity, you know, throughout the four corners of the earth. You know, and the brothers that's not wavering in the faith, you know, being diligent in his truth. You know, I say shalom to you, brothers, you know, and I say shalom, you know, to the few sisters that believe in all meekness and humbleness. You know, I say shalom. You know, uh, I'm your brother Zakaria from GMS Mommy Camp. And Lord willing, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kadash, you know, uh, Ottawa and Rathaza, you know, that means Lord willing, you know, so Lord willing, this lesson is edifying to the elect of the nation Israel, you know, in my lessons, in my lesson today, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kadash, is on how the Lord say it's going to be division, all right, in the last days, all right. All right, those who serving Yahweh Bashim Yahshah, the Heavenly Father, through His Son, in truth and sincerity, which is the elect, all right, against everybody else, all right. So the Lord say He 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 come to make the vision, all right. So I'm gonna just roll through the Spirit, Lord, when it's edifying to the elect of the nation Israel, you know. So this is the book of Matthew, chapter ten, and verse thirty-two it says, "Whosoever therefore shall confess me before men, him will I confess also before my Father which is in heaven." So if we I confess our, our Lord Yahweh Shai. All right. All right. Confess him, you know, preach his word, you know, in truth and in sincerity. He's going to confess us before the Father. All right. The Heavenly Father Yahweh. Verse 33. But whosoever shall deny me before men, him will I will I also deny before my Father, which is in heaven. So if you deny the Lord, all right, you're not you're not telling the true doctrine. All right. You're not warning the people. All right. Of the upcoming danger all right you're not you're you're denying you're you're denying the works that our lord did all right you're denying that he's a son of the most high all right you're denying like uh uh his sacrifice all right he's going to deny you in front of our lord in front of the heavenly father yahweh man verse 34 it says think not that i come to send peace on earth i came not to send peace but a sword and what does a sword do it cuts all right. It divides things, man. All right. And that's what the Lord said he's going to bring. I right, see. I'm going to bring the sword. That means he's going to he's going to bring division. All right. And there's a scripture also was Luke 12. Bear with me. This is the book of Luke chapter 12 and verse 51 it says, it says, suppose ye that I am, suppose ye that I am come to give peace on earth. I tell you nay, but rather division. I, right, which is saying the same thing in Matthew 10. You know, I read both accounts, you know, so the Lord said he's going to bring division. All right, let's go. Let's go back to Luke 12 and then get the definition of that word um, division. All right. Because the Lord is about to. All right, separate, man. All right, the true believers is gonna worship Yahweh Bashem in spirit and truth, and the unbelievers they they gonna die in their unfaithfulness, man. Strong's G twelve sixty seven, Diameris Mas, Diameris Mas. Diameris Mas is a parting, distribution, disunion, dissension, division. All right, a parting. So you get a Google definition. Division. All right. Division. I don't really say much. All right. Okay. Just look at this word. You know, so a uh, parting. All right. They use that one. All right. So the Lord said he's come to bring division to to separate. All right. Let's go to um, let's go to Matthew 10 chapter. He said, I come to set a man at variance. 
well, let's, let's read this. Let's continue on. Matthew chapter 10 and verse 34 says, Think not that I come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. Quick precept before I get that. Let's lock you. Ezekiel chapter 7. In verse 25, destruction cometh and they shall seek peace and there shall be none. So the Lord said he he came not to send peace, but a sword. All right. He said, say, uh, say, not that I, uh, say not that I come to send, you know, peace. He's he's not coming to send peace, man. All right. So these people talking about peace, you know, world peace. No, nah, world peace is going to come when our Lord Yahweh shall set up the right his righteous kingdom, man. All right. All right, not this is not this is where I the earth is mourning because Esau the wicked is ruling, man. All right, this is book of Matthew chapter ten and verse thirty five. It says, "For I am come to set a man at variance against his father, and the daughter against her mother, and the daughter in law against against her mother in law." All right, so the families is going to be divided. All right, father against mother, I mean father against daughter, the son against his father. All right, mother daughter, you know. The in-laws fighting because that's the Lord separating the sheep from the goat. Uh, he, he's carrying, he's separate, he's separating the elect from from the um, from the the one those who are not a part of the elect, man. There were variants. It's a better definition. Strong's G thirteen sixty nine, dechadzo, 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 and it says um, to cut into two parts. Cleave asunder, sever. All right. To cut. All right. Are you cutting a piece of uh, steak? All right. Or are you cutting? You know, you gotta, you gotta, um, you gotta sub. All right. Or or a sandwich, and you cut it in half. You're dividing it. That's how the Lord doing the, the family, and with this word. All right. Starting with this word, man. All right. Because you got those who's going to receive the word of Yahweh Bashim Masha and those who, who's not. All right. And the family's already divided just by these wicked. Well, just by these laws, which they are wicked, that Esau, Edom, the so-called white man is putting out, man. All right. They say you got to take the jump shot. and People are divided over there. You know, you can't go to family events unless you have, unless you got the jump shot. All right. People are, you know, uh, divided over, over little simple things, man. All right, how much more the word of of Yahweh Bashim Nasha? Because you got the true believers, all right. And when you come in the truth, and you start, you you have that zeal, and you start teaching every, everybody. All right, who the main people you teach are your family, and what they they reject it. All right. So that's just that's just uh, proof right there. All right, Matthew ten and verse thirty six. It says, "A man's foes." meaning enemies shall be they of his own household verse 37 and he he that loveth father or mother more than me is not worthy of me so if you love your father or your mother you know more than you love your how about which we love our parents you know but the the work of your how about the fear of the lord you know the doing the lord will is far more important you know if your family come against the truth saying Oh, don't do this. Don't push the word. No, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta do what the will of every of the how about you, shot, man. I'm not doing your will. Are you crazy? All right, because our Lord Yahusha, He's gonna save the elect. All right. It says, "They that love loveth father or mother more than me is not worthy of me, and he that loveth son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me." You know, the same thing with your children. The this work of the Lord come first. <laughs> It says verse because Peter, the Lord, Peter asked the Lord, Lord, he we have forsaken all that follow thee. What shall we receive? All right, let me get that right quick. Matthew 19, I believe, 27. Yeah, Matthew chapter 19, verse 27 says, Then Peter so I, then answered Peter and said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all and followed thee. What shall we have therefore? Verse 28, and Yahweh shall say unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration and reincarnation, when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, 
ye also shall sit upon 12 thrones judging the 12 tribes of Israel. So if we follow the Lord. All right. All right. We forsaken all. All right. The Lord said we're going to sit up on the throne of the glory. All right. When he sit on, on the throne of his glory, you know, judging it, he gonna give us power all right, over the 12 tribes. All right. All right, the Lord's going to, he's going to exalt us, man. You know, Lord, when we party like verse 29 says in every one, because it's going to be levels in the kingdom. It says in everyone that have forsaken all, we're going to be over. All right. All right. All these heathen heathens also. It says in everyone that have forsaken houses or brethren or sisters or father or mother or wife or children or lands for my name's sake shall receive a hundredfold and shall inherit everlasting life. So that's what the Lord's going to give. To the ones who follow him, all right. Matthew chapter 10 and verse 37. He that loveth father or mother more than me is not worthy of me, and he that loveth son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. Verse 38. And he that taketh not his cross and follow after me is not worthy of me. Verse 39. And it's like he that findeth his life shall lose it. So you think. Oh, I'm going to leave this truth and go find myself. You're going to lose. You're going to get put to death, man. Yahweh Bashi Mashah is going to destroy you. And he that loses his life for my sake shall find it. Yeah, you lose yourself. All right. And you what? You lose the, the old man and you put on a new man. All right. And righteousness after Yahweh Bashi Mashah. All right. Because we're dead to this world, man. All right. This world is, is full, full of folly and wickedness, man. Lies and vanity, vexation and spirit, man. Uh, the King Solomon said that. Was he how was I? All right. Vanity of vanity, all is vanities, and you see it, man. All right. It's, that's why you got to follow after Yahweh Bashim Hashah. Luke chapter 12. I'll get into Luke 12 and I'll close out. Luke chapter 12 and verse. 51 it says suppose ye that i that i am come to give peace on earth i tell you nay but rather division for from whence forth there shall be five in one house divided all right so there's gonna be division in the one in the houses three against two and two against three so you got probably got your two brothers against his sister mom and dad all right or is the vice versa? I mean, where you got your your mom, your son and dad against all right, his your three your your mom your two sisters and their mom. <laughs> this how shit is gonna be divided, man. Verse 50, 58. The father shall be divided against the son, how the spirit, and the son against the father, the mother against the daughter, and the daughter against the sorry, and the daughter against the mother. And the mother-in-law against her daughter-in-law and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. You know, so don't be surprised all right, when these things happen. All right, because the Lord already warned us of it. But we, we have to continue going. All right. Because the Lord said, who is my brother? Who is my, who is my, um, who is my, who is, who is our real family, man? All right. I get a Matthew 12, Matthew 12 and verse, Matthew 12 and verse 46. While he yet talked to the people, behold, his mother and his brethren stood without desiring to speak with him. Verse 47. Then one said unto him, behold, thy mother and thy brethren stand without desiring to speak with thee. Because right, they were trying to speak to the Lord. Verse 48. But he answered and said unto him that told him, Who is my mother 
and who is my brethren? Verse 49. And he stretched forth his hand towards his disciples and said, Behold, my mother and my brethren. Verse 50. For whosoever shall do the will of my father, which is in heaven, the same as my brother and sister and mother. All right. So those who are doing the will of Yahweh by Shema Shai, they're going to be on the right side. All right. We say he's going to sheep and the goats. All right. Matthew 25 and verse 31. When the Son of Man shall sit, shall come in his glory and all the holy angels with him, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory. Because that's our Lord coming back on the so-called UFO with the innumerable amount of angels, man. Thousands and thousands and thousands of angels. Verse 38, slot verse 32. And before him shall be gathered all nations and he shall separate them one from another as the shepherd divided his sheep and the goats. So the Lord is going to divide. All right. These nations also, man. All right. Our people are scattered throughout the world, man. All right. Verse 33. And he shall set the sheep on his right hand, the elect, but the ghost on the left. All right. All right. The wicked. All right. Verse 34. Then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, come, ye blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. All right. That's the elect. All right. The Lord is separating them. And the elect is going to enter in the kingdom. And two thirds are down this side. Y'all going to have to come back through the elect. All right. So Lord, when in this lesson was edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel, you know, I want to give all praises, all honor and all glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rechakodash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone with Ruwell. And I want to give a uh, peace and greetings and salutations to all the like Akim that's pushing, his, that's pushing his word and truth and sincerity. Hey, Shalom, Akim. Keep pushing. Keep enduring. Shalom.